a new normal and the low freshman students from the BSCMT. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss about information age. So sit back, listen, and enjoy learning. And these are the learning outcomes for today's discussion. At the end of the lesson, the student should able to first define information age. Second, characterize the information age. Third, analyze the development of the information age. Fourth, illustrate how the social media and the information age have impacted human lives and society. And lastly, evaluate the intricacies of information age. Now, let us present our seatbelt as we discuss the development of information age. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, let us begin by defining the meaning of information age. The information age is a modern time in which information has become a commodity that is transmitted freely, easily, and quickly by using personal computers and computers networks. This period is also called the computer age, the digital age, and the new media age. It is the period that started in the last quarter of the 20th century. Now, let us proceed to the characteristics of information age. The information age is associated with the digital revolution. It is marked by the increased production, transmission, consumption of, and reliance on information. The information age comprises the invention or innovation that have emerged in the computing and cybernetics after the Industrial Revolution. Computer and communication technology converge to hasten work systems such as electronic commerce, integrated enrollment system, and integrated library systems. The information age is a period in which human work, play, and interact patterns are fundamentally affected by system for processing and distributing information through computer technology. ICT is regularly and widely used in the generate, dissemination, and receive information. An example is the technology enhanced classroom to enhance critical thinking skills of students. This is the period that allows rapid movement of global communication and networking to shape modern knowledge-based society. It opens new opportunities for individuals to explore personalized needs and interests. Individual significance and dignity are restored. Everyone enjoys fair advantage. People are empowered. Many information workers work at a place and time for their choice. The information age creates a high-tech global economy based on the information computerization, complex procedures of making decisions, and translating business become significantly easier, faster, and cheaper. Linear growth and private or even public agencies and organizations changes the exponential growth. Increased globalization calls for the bigger infrastructure efficiency. Entrepreneurship becomes popular with the rise of more small businesses. Self-employment expands to the grassroots level of society.
Now, let us move on to the development of information age. First is to have the pre gothenburg era. Prior to the invention of the printing press, information was disseminated in a laborious and difficult manner. Time was greatly consumed. Books were read comprehensively. Tablets were available, but information was not accessible to all group of people, but rather only to the small light group. Transmission of knowledge rely purely on word-of-mouth channels. The prevalent form of information was therefore the story of others. Development was limited. Travel institutions, religion group or religious group, and feudal political system dominated society. Life moved in a slow pace. Second is the Gothenburg era. The information age started when Johannes Gothenburg invented the printing press, which was significant in the quicker and cheaper production of more books. The term Gothenburg Revolution refers to the democratizing effects of the invention of the printing press. This period was revolutionary because it allowed global social and cultural changes as well as development of societies the invention of the printing press opened opportunities for peoples all over the world to voice out their ideas opinions and sentiments it allowed the faster printing distribution and reading of educational and instructional or instructional materials such as books especially the bible the literacy spread people learned to bring across their messages such as philosophies ideologies principles ideas instructions personal experiences and a lot more and lastly the post gothenburg period this is the age of social media characterized by the dominance of the internet and the world wide web broadband internet access is made possible and video presentation and researches become readily accessible blogging and social networking make business call center communication becomes accessible in all parts of the world life sharing and socialization through facebook instagram and twitter and a lot more also become a trend that makes global connections youtube flickr amazons and google make the life of the people of all levels easier and more modernized because of these accessibilities interesting personalities come to the limelight tim berners lee created the world wide web Steve Jobs created Apple One, the first effective personal computer that paved the way for the modern computer technology. Apple created iPhone, iPod, iMac, and Apple TV. Bill Gates founded the Microsoft, which developed programs like Microsoft Office, Windows, and other important products. According to Shirky in 2008, the social information principle during this period is likely to generate a very powerful disintermediation or disinstitutionalizing effect in theory. It has consequences for society in this sense that institution and the practices that become the foundation of the society for many years are about to disappear overnight. Now, we are down on the last part of our discussion, which is the impact of information age. The internet is the most prominent invention of the digital age. It has turned men into passive homebodies instead of doing outdoor activities. Smarter than ever, people using the internet can
can perform various tasks online through the desktop or a smartphone, like shopping, paying bills, ordering foods, calling a taxi, entertaining oneself with video hockey or movie through YouTube, communicating face-to-face -face via Skype or Messenger with loved ones in distant places, online tutoring, conducting job interview, and many more. Many communication services such as texting, email, and social media bring people closer beyond barriers. New languages are learned through the instant translation. Thus, people regardless of cultural background get connected. The information age stimulates business. It makes industry and industrial countries stronger. Production of quality goods are done faster, easier, and more efficiently with the automated machines. Cost of labor decreases. Business becomes progressive because marketing and the sales can be done online. Moreover, this period is the age of entrepreneurship. People from all social classes, after learning new things from the internet, take the risk of engaging in business, small or big, business owner, customers, sell or buy products online. Driven by remarkable wits and skills, individuals produce new products and render service based on ICT advances that abound everywhere. The use of internet stimulates education. Teachers can find and use new information, instructional materials, and technology aids to the enhance their teaching methods and techniques. Students can readily access information from the internet to accomplish their assignments and their research works. School administrators can make linkage with the government or non-government agencies in the local, national, or global levels in their quest for support to their school programs and products. Curriculum policymakers upgrade their school curricular of offerings to suit the interests of the millennial learners and the needs of the times. While the digital age is benefiting mankind so much, it also has negative impacts on individual, persons, or on society. Many become passive and lazy because they are too much focused on their desktop and smartphones for social interaction, for entertainment, for academic works, for business, and others. This leads to the development of health problems and desirable behaviors and unpleasant attitudes. Certain positive values are taken for granted, if not forgotten. The internet has also become the medium of committing crimes such as cyberbullying, trafficking, and abuse of children and women, libel, business scam, hacking, and the government records or private information, and a lot more. For you to fully understand the topic, let us watch this video. What is Information Age? The Information Age began around the 1970s and is still going on today. It is also known as the Computer Age, Digital Age, or New Media Age. This era brought about a time period in which people could access information and knowledge easily. The information age brought about many new inventions and innovations. Many communication services, like texting, email, and social media developed in the world has not been the same since. Advantages and Disadvantages of Information Technology in Education The use of internet technology has opened institutional boundaries. Students from developing countries now have a chance to study their desired courses at a standard similar in some cases to 
First World Education Institutions Use of educational video games and puzzles has increased students' interest in learning. Basing on research, students enjoy learning with technology. Many schools have started providing free internet on the school campus. This helps students do research and learn on their own. Students no longer take time to solve equations and research topics. All they do is a query in Google or on a calculator. Poof the answer. Poor quality publications online. Many online publishers post content for monetary purposes, so you may find that most of the content published online is not accurate or well detailed to help students and researchers. Advantages and Disadvantages of Information Technology in Society Advantages Improved Innovation Improved Entertainment Improved Social Discovery Globalization of Knowledge and Improved Communication Disadvantages With the increased addiction to social networks and internet games, people are spending more time on computers and reject their normal offline life, resulting in increased isolation and social imbalance. Using technology can change a child's brain. An article in Psychology Today says that the use of technology can alter the actual wiring of the brain. The information age is now. Without the information, knowledge, and discoveries of those from the past, we would not be where we are today. The past has shaped our present and will continue to shape our future. And this is the end of our discussion. But, let me leave you with this quotation. As yet, the wind is untamed and unharnessed force. And quite possibly, one of the greatest discoveries hereafter to be made will be the timing and harnessing of it. Of Abraham Lincoln's once said. And these are the references that I made use for this topic. for learning with me today but please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe see you on my next discussion goodbye